Hello, my beautiful people. You are welcome back to this tutorial. How are you guys doing? I love you all for your support. God bless you. And please, if you are new to this channel, please, please click on the subscribe button. And also, please turn on your notification bell so that each time I upload the new video, you will get notified. So, in today's class, you have seen the thumbnail already. It's really beautiful. I'll be showing you guys how to cut and sew a raw full butterfly skirt. Sure, it's really simple, guys. And in today's class, We'll be working direct to our fabric. You can see our fabric on our table here. It's in two food already. See? So, let's quickly get started. So, the measurement required here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, waist measurement. The distance from the waist to the hip and to the full length of your skirt. Might have been making it of short skirt. You can actually do with long skirt. It's optional. So, let's quickly now place our measurement. So this is our waistline. So it's actually a high waist skirt, okay? So I'll be using two inches waistband. So I'll be subtracting the two inches. So this is the two inches. You have to subtract the two inches. So the distance from the uh, waist and to the hip line is 10 inches because it's a uh, waist skirt. So I will mark the 10 inches. So this is our hip line. So let me click on it as well. So you connect it this way. So I will subtract 2 inches to place my new measurement. It's uh, 21 inches. And that is the full length of my skirt. As I said earlier, it's short skirt. So the length is optional. I've said that before. So I will place is my full length of my skirt, which is the knee line, so I connect it as well. So remember, we need the nail one inch for the hemming. So I will add the hemming allowance, which is one inch. So this one inch serves as our hemming allowance. But if you look at the table very well, you can see the length is more than that. The reason is this, because of, we are making it of elastic. That roughness you see there is elastic to achieve that. So whatever measurement you are working with, you have to multiply it. So now my full length of my skirt is uh, 21 inches. So 21 inches into two parts, I'll be having 42 inches. So that is exactly what I have here. Okay, plus one inch uh, aiming allowance, making it 43 inches. Okay, so this is it. But this is the actual length of our skirt. So now that we are done with this, we have to put adjust it this way to the down part now, because what I have here is times two of my skirt length. You see, twenty-one to two parts is forty-two inches plus the hemming allowance. You can see it now. So let me connect it now. I just did this for a guide. That just it. Be wondering what if there's any adjustment? How will I go about it? It's through the zipper allowance. That's your center back. So now we have to keep place our waist measurement to six inches into four parts. We'll be having a nine inches. This is the front panel, don't forget that. So it's nine inches, which is this. So because it's not a stretchy fabric, so add just one inch. So for the hip measurement, it's 46 inches into four parts. I'll be having 11.5 inches. So I will place it this way, so 11.5 inches plus one inch. That is a 12.5 eh, inches. For the down part, because it's a, a rough skirt, there is no need to make the down pants so I can walk freely. So we'll just connect it from the hip to the waistline and to the down part. So, okay, so let me quickly take my curve ruler to connect it. So this is my, excuse me, this is my waistline. So I will connect it to that, to me the same allowance. So I will connect it to the damp part this way because it's a butterfly skirt so that my clients can walk freely. So you place your straight lad this way. Okay, so connect it this way. That is all. So for the extension for the butterfly, that is the 
run through this in the butterfly. So I'll be eat, making use of eight inches, okay? You could decide to use five inches. For this, it's optional. Don't forget that it depends how long you want it to be. So my, I'm working with uh, just seven inches. And remember, we'll be adding one inch because we'll be doing hemming round, okay? So I have to hem it before 15 hour at the time I square both the front and back and it together. So I will place seven inches plus one inch, making it eight inches. Okay, so I will place it this way. I know you may be wondering why is it this curvy? Yes, because the waist and the hip, they are not the same measurement. Okay, so if I start, if I place it straight this way, the waist line will be higher. So it will be, it will be longer. So it will not be fine. So you have to ensure that you make it this curvy because the waist and the hip, they are not the same measurement. The hip is the fullest part of our skirt. So I will place the same eight inches this way. Just follow the curve that way, see? This is it. So the full length, eight inches. I tried working with seven inches, but just one inch for the hemming. Okay, so I will connect it this way. See, this is how it should look like when you are done. So now, we have to clean now, cut it out. Cut it out. Then we'll move over to our back panel. So before we move over to our back panel, we have to clip place the same measurement, whatever we have here on this other side. Yes, because we'll be stitching on the right side. I've said that before. So I'll be creating a, a casing for our elastic. So let me quickly measure out the same thing and show you guys. So you can see, guys, I'm done tracing it out. So I place the waist measurement, the hip measurement, and then to the down part, to that to the full length of the skirt. Exactly what you have. So by the time you open it up, this is how it should look like. See? This is the center front, see? So this is how it should look like. So now to clean out, introduce the back eh, panel. So guys, you can see I've uh, placed the front panel. You can see it. On the back panel, you see what we have. The only difference is just the zip allowance, which is this. I will just be using 1.5 inches. You could decide to use just one inch. Okay? So this is just it. So this is the zip allowance. This is the waistline, the hip line. So I have to trace it out. Remember, I'll be opening it. I'll be, I'll be removing the front panel so that I won't get confused. So this is it. So now I will quickly now cut it out. You can see how surpluses I will trim it out to make sure everything matches both the waistline. So let me do, do that and show you guys. So as you can see, I'm done uh, cutting it out. So I will do exactly what I did here. The waistline to place my measurement too. So let me clean. Do that. So I have to remove this. Remember the one uh, the waist measurement is nine because of one inch. Uh, same allowance where we'll be. Putting the casing for our elastic, so it's not 10 inches. So this is it. The hip, look at the hip line, I've marked it already. It's 12.5 inches. Actually, it's 11.5 inches. So I will mark it. So 12.5 inches to the damp part, to the full length of my skirt. So I will place it this way. For the zipper, it's straight because it's a straight skirt and high waist, and it's there. Ruffle skirt, so we won't be going deeper. There, yeah, we'll just switch it straight. So, this is it. So I'll mark it this way. So I will flip it this way also. This is it. Remember the zipper allowance. Set to use. So 
So place it 10 inches to the hip, which is 12.5 inches. So total we're placing 13.5 inches with the zip allowance, okay? So I'll be taking it to my sewing machine to sew the zip allowance together. At the moment, I've not opened it. So this is it. I'm connected this way. So now, see this is my right side. Okay, so I will open it up this way. You can see, so I will flip it, take it to my sewing machine to close my zipper. You can actually cut it open. You know if you can't control this, but the chalk is already there to guide you. So you can see. So to use one inch for my zip allowance. So I will take it to my machine. Stitch one inch. So for my zipper, it's eight inches length. Remember two inches band. So this is it. I will stitch to this one inch this way. So the damp part so let me do that and show you guys so guys you can see i'm done stitching it you can see so i stopped you can see the chalk i marked my zipper allowance say eh? so i didn't cut here open at the moment you decide to cut it open it's optional but i'll open it this way this i should look like so i'll clearly take my straight line pin you see to pin it down you see so how it is so this is it. So now from the waistline to so notch the waistline seam, I will step in down by one inch. We decide to work with an half inch. So we want to do the hemming. We'll do the same. Remember, this is the back panel. So we'll do the same also. Here the front panel. So I want to do the hemming now. See? Just notching it, that is just it. See, so I will step down one inch. I could to work with um, 0 0.5 inch. So I will flip this to the wrong side. This is my wrong side. So you see why I notch. So I will take it to my sewing machine to do the hemming this way. Remember, this is our waistline this way. Round. When you get to this point, you raise the machine foot, you continue this way. There's the hemming. That is that one inch we added. See? Down to the down part. And also to the down part of our skirt. We'll do the hemming as well. Round. Both the front and back here. Eh? panel so let me quickly do that guys and show you guys so guys you can you see we are done there eh? hem in it see we hem it round Both the damp panel you can see so this is how it should look like when you are done hemming it to see what we have so now we have to clean now, stitch it as I said earlier. We'll be stitching on the right side. We'll follow this chart that we marked. See? If we see, make sure everything matches. So we'll stitch to the full length of our skirt. Then I'll quickly show you guys how we are going to create a casing for our elastic. So as you can see, guys, we are done stitching it. You see, we have run a straight line stitch to the full length, that is to the damp part, okay? So this is the back piece. So now what to clean and create a space for our elastic, which I added one inch, you see? So I'll be marking one inch. I could start to work with a 0 0.7. So I'll mark it this way. 
on both sides. Remember, I added why I was drafted. So let me mark it around and show you guys. So guys, as you can see, I'm done marking this. I'll be taking to my sewing machine also to stitch to the damp panel on both sides and show you guys. But before doing that, so let me quickly explain how we close up this part. Remember, we came in by 0 0.5 inch, which I said it could decide to work with one inch. So this is it. The um, butterfly has a rough extension, say. So I will flip it this way, say. I stitch it. But I will flip it this way to the wrong side, facing each other this way. Remember, this is our waistline. So I will stitch it just this 0 0.5 inch. Both the other sides, so I will stitch it this way. By the time I finish stitching, this is how it should look like. You see? So I'll be able to attach my waistband. See what I'm explaining, guys? So this is it. So I will stitch it this way before I will run a straight stitch here for the casing for elastic. So let me quickly do that. So this is what I was saying, guys. See? I'll stitch it now. So I will fix my band. You see? So this is it. 0 0.5 inch if you came down with one inch that's how what you should stitch also one inch so by the time if you have a space to fist your waistband to see this is how it should look like so let me go on there run a straight stitch for my elastic casing so guys we are done uh, stitching as you can see this is where we'll be inserting our elastic so now these are elastic so the length of elastic i have here is the length of my skirt what we have here, the length of the skirt are working with 21 inches. And what we have here is 42 inches because of the gather. Okay? So now we have to cut exactly our skirt length. So by the time we finish inserting it, everything will come eh, normal. So this is it. So now we have to clean and insert it. And doing this, we need it to a safety pin. Because we insert it, stitch it before fixing our waistband. So I will quickly insert it this way. This is how you insert it. I have to safety pin with me here yeah? so i will start it this way see see so i measure out exactly my skirt length so you see what we have i will insert it then stitch here stitch on it before I will continue, I have to make sure I place my waistband first. Yes. So I was teaching. Okay, let's see what I'm doing, guys. So, see? So, I have to be watchful to ensure that your elastic doesn't. Uh, Go in. So you see, actually cut 22 inches because I'll be needing half inch here. Half inch here. So I want to clean and stitch it now. Remember my safety pin is inside. So I will continue later. I will do the same thing. I will leave the safety pin inside. Insert it also, stitch on the fall, introduce our waistband. So as you can see, guys, I'm done inserting our elastic. So the safety pin is still inside. I will fix my waistband and my zipper. You know, it's good. It's rough uh, skirt before inserting it completely. Excuse me. So now, remember for my zipper allowance, I didn't cut it open for easy sewing. So I had to remove my straight line pin now. So cut it open this way now. You see? Because I want to fix my band. So let me quickly introduce my band. So this is the band, the waistband I'll be working with. Okay, let me get my measurement tape. See? It's 2.5 inches. I said to work with 2.5 inches. Initially, I mentioned 2 inches. So it's high waist. So I will quickly now place it this way now. So what I did, I added stay. Could decide to do without stay. So this is it. So I will stitch this way. The right side. 
throw it round, okay? This is one that would add to the top of it, so I will spin it down. So it this way, round. See that part that we stitch? See? Let me quickly do that and show you guys. So guys, you can see I'm done stitching our waistband round with the zipper allowance, you see? See what we have? So this is it. So now I want to clean now. So stitch on it, send the wrong, uh, this unwanted part in, stitch it round. Then I will show you guys before we fix our zipper. So guys, as you can see, I'm done stitching on our waistband. You see how neat and beautiful it is. So by the time I give it a very nice press, everything will last properly. So it's time to fix my zipper before our elastic so this is it i'll open this part you see how everything matches here you see so now i want to clean. Okay, now move over to my sewing machine to add my to insert my zipper you see so that is you see how everything matches here so it's really simple guys when i'm done i will trim out all this bread i'm not needed so this is the back panel okay so let me quickly fix my zipper So guys, I'm done fixing our zipper, I see how uh, it is. So now we have to quickly, now this is the back side. This is the front. So let's quickly um, trace our elastic now. But while doing this, you have to be very careful. Remember you have locked this part. <laughs> so I have to be very careful. <laughs> so I have to do it gently. So this is the last thing to do, yes. So that fixing your zipper and your waistband won't be stressful. But when you do this first, to fix your zipper and your waistband will be very stressful. So this is it. See, so. So what we have, so this side should look like, we'll do this on the other part, but before then, I will insert it this way. Hold it firm. Don't pull that much, okay? So hold it. So remember I added one inch. I've used 0 0.5 inch there. So I'm using 0 0.5 inch here. So I will insert it in this way. Go to my sewing machine to stitch, to make sure my last doesn't show here. Yeah stitch to close it up that is also let me quickly stitch and show you guys so as you can see i'm done stitching it you see what i did so i back stitch stitch it properly stitch it tight that's what i mean so this other side we have to trace it as well so it's here so we have to So as I said before, you, the length is optional. You could decide to make gown with this, yes. Your half bodies can be corset, yes, or shoulder that. So it's very simple, guys. So you see. So I'll remove it gently as well, this way. Why doing this? But I have to be very careful. So I'll insert it this way. In gently. Hold it tight. See? So I'll quickly now go and st stitch also. So guys, I'm done stitching it to see what we have. So our butterfly skirt is there. 
ready <laughs> it's very simple guys you see how beautiful it is see what we have so this is it this is the front side okay why this part is the adjust it properly so why this is the back panel you see how beautiful and last it is so it's very really simple guys so please please if you find this video interesting hit on the like button there also please share my videos and please if you are new to this channel hit on the subscribe button down also please turn on your notification bell so that each time i drop a new video you get notified so i love you all i remain chi living signature bye for now <laughs>